Yo, what is up guys, and welcome to this Mario Manzukic 86 Inform Review. Um, so today we're obviously um, reviewing Mario Manzukic 63, high high, 3 star, 3 star, not too bad. Um, let's take a look at his in game, 73 pace, not too bad. Um, 82 shooting, 88 finishing, 84 shot power, decent passing, really good reactions, really good composure, um, great heading, great physical stats. So he's really a big aerial threat, and you'll see, especially later in these clips, um, you'll be able to see him uh, show off. Um, got Suso, Douglas Costa. Lingard, uh, just a little bit of a hybridization today. Some good super subs. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be playing three games today, and unfortunately the second or second clip of the first game got corrupted, so we won't see that. But nothing really happened in that. So um, yeah, so let's get into the game. Um, let's go ahead and use the USA kit, and we'll take a look at see what team this guy's rocking. So this guy is rocking. The German slash uh, BPL team we got the Gutsa, got the Bell Robbie, Sane, De Bele, uh, pretty strong defense by uh, the Marcus Alonso, as well as the, um, the Sanchez, and De Gea, and goal. So pretty hard, and I didn't score much um, from this game, so there won't be that many. Eric Bailly, but let's get into back, it. Um, and the Herrera plays with Blaise Matuidi. So just a little bit pass around. And they're starting, interestingly, with and three Beach. forwards. Unfortunately, it just gives it away right there, but and he's able to win it straight back. Accepts the three powerful ball, takes a pretty, par pretty powerful shot, and almost curves in. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was a finesse or not. I don't think it was, up. but he unfortunately does not have the best long shots. But if it's inside the D, which most people take their shots from, most likely they'll always like, go like in. Um, Manzukic, this little skill, trying to trick a defender. Take shot. shot, takes a shot. Pretty upper corner, I mean. The angle's not really good for any striker, so they'll most likely not be able to, uh, most not, most likely not be able to. Uh, I'm into the next clip, um, unfortunately, that was supposed to just show, like, he, he usually wins the headers, like, most of the time, but sometimes he doesn't, but I would say there's about a 95% chance of a win, but I just didn't want to show only headers won, because that's not exactly, like, the exact representation of him. Um, so let's take a look at this team. Benzema, Ben Yedder, kind of a French league slash Bundesliga hybrid. Interestingly enough, he does have a finisher kemp style on both of his strikers, which is kind of interesting. I personally don't think it's that good because it really doesn't boost like lineup. that. Um, it just goal. doesn't boost Chris stats like as Eric much as you Bailly want, and especially and without boosting like the stamina, it's not that good. Free kick only um, from the referee. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Manzukic wins a foul. Um, pretty good. And we're actually going to take the free kick with him, even though he only has like 50 free kick accuracy. He's actually a pretty good hit. Um, puts a decent amount of power on it, about two bars. Almost curves in. Keeper saves it. And uh, so he can actually take free kicks if you want him to. You just maybe got to do a little bit of practice. Manzukic takes the shot just at the goalkeeper, but. As I said before, his long shots aren't that good, so the pass was going. he might not like, make them. But if it's inside the D, he'll make pretty much all of them. So and here's the example, right inside the D, oh, good composure, um, good finishing, I mean, good body to like um, to keep off the and defenders, so make sure level. he has a clean shot. Well, sides have scored so here now. He can do those type of things where some strikers with low Looking composure, maybe low... Um, Low composure, uh, maybe like low finishing, or maybe not do as well. So he slots in a nice ball to Lingard. Unfortunately, it gets blocked, but he Incisive does actually pass. have pretty easy passing. I figured out. Here's just an example yeah, of uh, goal kick, and this and, uh, is a very prime example of his heading. We'll see some later in the video. He's able to head it very accurately and dish it out to other players, so you can build a counter attack. Um, sometimes if you have like an issue with height in your team and maybe like jumping, sometimes that's like a problem. Nice little shot by him. I mean, he doesn't have the best long shots, but if that was a time finish, it might have gone in. I usually just do more time finishing um, if it's like a finesse instead. Uh, you know, so another time to show off his great um, jumping. And jumps up, wins the ball. And able to build a counter attack or just an attack, whatever type of play style you're using. Um, 
Yeah, Here's a brilliant uh, example, a perfect header right into the corner. He's able to jump high in a contested area, win the ball, and put it into a corner um, with high speed. And that's something that strikers most likely can't do. Um, I know a lot of strikers can put in a header from, um, from close in, but usually not that far out. Um, so yeah, wins another header and uh, gets the ball back again. Does a little bit of nice skillage and skillage. And that makes the defender a little bit of one two. And that pass was not his fault. Lingard just, you know, can't control the ball. Um, yeah, a little one two here. And a beautiful little finesse into the corner. And so if it's inside the D or inside the box, most likely always putting the goals. Um, it's a goal. He's already scoring a lot. Yeah. With them as he just does things that a lot moments, of like players don't think that he can do just because he's cheaper or he's like slow, but that's not really the case. So going into game number three with the Dia de los Muertos kit, let's see what type of team this man got in the Manchester City kit. So going along with Manchester City, dual Manchester City strikers along with um, the center attacking midfielder. Um, yeah, just a little nice Brazilian team in the back, along with paired with the uh, British Premier League. Costa so let's get into these highlights. Mario Mandzukic. Um, Mandzukic takes the ball, dribbles around a little shot bit, does fake shot, takes a shot on, gets deflected. I mean, he can't hit with power, but if you're going to um, hit with power outside the box, like where like a long shot would be considered, you most likely want to um, do a time finish just to get better accuracy on the shot, since he does have a little bit more long shots. Plays a nice ball to Costa. Fortunately, Costa doesn't put it through, but that does win us the corner. And you play the ball in, and what's crazy is that that's basically an AI header because... I had selected Eric Bailly, and it well, kind of we'll auto-selected off of him onto Mario Mandzukic. So that's basically an it, AI goal one. So if your AI well, can play, perform things with a player way. like that, Wonderful like a lot save. of things, like a lot of plays like that, it doesn't Won't happen by AI. So another example, this time I do control Mandzukic. Boom. Perfect little header goal. I mean, I mean, if you can convert those easy chances, it makes games a lot easier to win. Nice little through ball on by Mandzukic. I mean, his physical is really good. His pace isn't that bad. I mean, he's really good, and I would pretty much recommend him to anybody. little nice chip goal with the uh, composure that he has. He's able to put away these one-on-one -on -one finishes, unlike some strikers, which is pretty helpful. And see, I mess up, and I did a pretty poor shot. You can see that in the time finishing. It was straight red, but he was able to just put it through easily. And so he's a pretty just well-rounded player, and if you can afford him, pick him up. And yeah, so that's my review on Mario Manzugic. See you later, guys.